Hello, everybody. Here we are on 360 once again, June 17th, and we are hot to trot, even Chris Johnson. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red and go make sure that my YouTube channel is running correctly. Thanks very much, Marty. Hello, Chris Johnson and Marty DeGarmo. How are you doing, guys? Nice to be back with you once again for the Wednesday on Passive 360, the place to be if you want to get some updates and got an announcement for you guys coming up. So do not go away. We'll give that announcement out towards the end of 360. So make sure you stick around. Don't just come on, say hello and then disappear. We've got uh, a few bits to go over, a few updates, a little bit of a paper trail in O Network coming up as well and also an announcement at the end of it. Uh, so we've got a fun-filled, packed uh, 360 for you guys today. Always good to be here uh, to bring you some good updates. Uh, this is what we're all about. You, we always give you what we can, when we can, and today we've got something for you, which is pretty cool. Over to you, Chris Johnson. Well, what's happening, my two favorite brothers from other mothers? You guys are looking good. Marty, you definitely don't look like a midget today. I don't know what's <laughs> going on, but you're, you must have got a new camera, man. You are binging and booming and red. That that head is shining beautiful today. You made the, gave it an extra, an extra toss in there. Yeah, but an guys, extra buff. That's right. Buff, buff, buff. Listen, this is an alert to all you founders. Get excited. If you're not excited, you're not plugged in. And we want you to plug in. And listen to me, listen to me. You're the luckiest people. There's 7 billion people in this world. 7 billion people in this world. And guess what? They all got to go through us to get into Unpassive. Don't you ever forget that. Marty DeGarmo, back to you, brother. That is so true. And it's almost 8 billion, by the way. So, yeah, the only way to get into Unpassive, to key, the key to Unpassive is to a founder. Darn right. I'm going to give some shout outs to some people showing up on YouTube here. Wow, 162 people already. Holy moly. Okay, let me. Uh, Ibrams Kahiti. Wow. Nigel Peter, how you doing? Aaron Frost. Lynn Nakamoto. <laughs> Sergeant Bilko. Mander. Satari, welcome. Tanya, I'm passive. Thank you, Tanya. You freaking keep things running really smooth. I really appreciate it. Stephen Callahan, Elsie Patch, your video was amazing. I took such courage to do that. It was amazing, amazing video. And I'm so glad. This is what makes I'm passive so cool. And it's going to help people like you that deserve it. I really, I'm really happy for you. Paul Daban is here. Jarmo's in the house. Roy Ram, Ram Kimpson. Whoa, I think I said that right. Vicky Barker. Uh, hold on. Getting feedback from my own <clears throat> my own YouTube. Vicky Barker, how you doing? Sean was in the house. I'm not going to even attempt that name, but good morning. I'm passing. <laughs> Hello, Vacram. <laughs> Vakram Matar, uh, Corinne. Oh, Corinne's here. Corinne Mikes. Hello, Corinne. She is the peacemaker. She knows who she is. Uh, Jewel Pat Patrit, Citram Gupta, Mary Tenda, Susie Hodges, Anuka Hastari, Shay Zamar. Wow, we got a full boat here. Uh, hold on. Tina's here. Hello, Tina. Glad you could make it. Casey Zebenbergen. Boom, baby. Mark Bouvier. Mountain Man Kevin Rutledge is in the house. Patricia Tan. Denise is, in the, is here. Uh, Gift of Unpassive. Dan Street in the house. What's happening, Dan? I'll, I'll talk to you after this. Verona Willis. Man, I've seen a lot of new names. There she is. Lister's in the house. That means her sister's right behind her. Corinne's here. Corinne, I'm giving you a shout-out. 
because I know you will beat me up later if I don't. Keith Merritt, how you doing? Stephen Johnstone is in the house. Unicorn Company before it's born. You darn right it is. Many times over, I believe. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red to give some shout-outs for himself, and I'll be chatting with you in a minute. Okay, thanks, Marty. Uh, yeah, a few shout-outs for people on my channel, and then uh, we'll get cracking. We've got Larry Friend, John Berea, and Rose from South Africa, Erin Frost, Kathy Sampson, Helen de la Bastide, one of the tea clubbers, Sebastian Jana, and Gabrielle Webend, Trepreneur. How you doing, Mark Howder, Kamal Saka, and Anita Curry from Ireland? Uh, Bonnie Collins and Juanita Ali, Stefan Ozsvaf, hello to you, Joel uh, Layton uh, and Cynthia Jackson, hello to you guys, uh, Gemma, Gemma Ramaki and the lovely pat parent, you're here, Holly, the big bugs, Phillips is in the casa and Don McNaughty, uh, McNaughty, sorry, I like the way you've done that, uh, Don, so that I pronounce it properly, Greg Gre uh, Greisner's here, Craig Scott, uh, Stevie Kanahal and Anita. How you doing? Uh, Paddy McGuigan's here, probably doubling up everywhere as well. And uh, Rock Kasselj. How you doing? Manoj as well from South uh, India. My man, Mark Booth, uh, is the expat in America. How you doing? Uh, Mayra Aquina and Charlie Dozier. Maysine Hemobu. Hello to you. And uh, oh, it's jumped. Sorry about that. Craig Scott's. And uh, we've got Men J Fleming, Pedro's in the house, uh, Butamil, Ruth, hello, Brenda, McIntyre and Sparrow. Uh, we've got Raphael Saint-Germain from the lovely Bahamas, Pam Turner, Stephen Holland. And uh, we'll have one more, which is M, of course, Kaylee, first through the door. Over to you, Chris. You know what? I, you know what? I know Patty. I just... It breaks his heart. You got to go on and just throw him up a little bit. Red gets mad at me. So, oh, hey, guys. Red, what's happening, buddy? Hey, guys. Patty McGuigan, what's happening? I know you love me and you want to make feel Red feel good. I totally get it, Patty. John White, what's happening? Tanya, our executive on Passive. We, everyone knows who you are. Dana's Energy. M. Kaylee. Yeah, we know. I know. I know M. Kaylee because Red gets mad. You got to go on his first and then come on mine. It's okay. I got it. Yeah, Marty. Marty's the same way. Just go say hi to Marty and come on back to the real channel over here. It's it's not a bad thing. All right, Abdi Lasso, Tobias John, and what's happening? Uh, but Karina Lance, he's doubling up. June Buckingham, what's happening? Stephen Callan, Alien Lawrence, how you doing? Alien, uh, Theta King, there's a new one. Kyrie Young, what's happening? Raphael from Bahamas, Gemma Ramaki, Judith Bonholm, Azar Khan, what's happening? Another. UK and jumping over to the big man. Woo! There's Pelican Patrick says, God, stop telling him Red's going to get mad at me. It's okay, Patty. I got a whole box of Kleenex. I'm going to bring him when I see him in a couple months. All right, Gemma, what's happening? Robert Tatillo, New Jersey's in the house. Lynn Nakamoto, what's up? She's doubling up. Uh, where's the Robin Noble? I know you're here somewhere. Julie Wen, John White, Bill Moss. I'm saying hi to you all. And uh, let's get this party started. And I do want to say real quick, please keep your thoughts and prayers. Um, Leanne Bonnet passed away on Sunday. Uh, I just found out last night. Please keep her family in your prayers, guys. Uh, and back to you, Marty DeGarmo. Yes, for sure. Leanne Bonnet was unbelievable. She did so much behind the scenes, too. I really appreciate her. And uh, prayers go out for her family, for sure. Let me. Um, Couple more shout outs. Uh, Marana Willis, Maria Grant, and I saw Tim the Leprechaun, aka Captain Kirk Dillon's here. Uh, Mercy Ann's here. Mercy Ann's everywhere. And I'm smiling because she always makes me smile. She's got a big old smile, big old grin on her face. Rupa Paul, how you doing? David Ball. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. I'm not going to be able to hit everybody. 240 people on the channel. Very nice. Thank you. Hey, one thing I want to bring up, you know, we talk about, hold on one second. Guys, you got to be quiet. I'm on a live. I know there's going to be three more times I have to do that. But anyway, um, you know, we talk about being plugged in. And 
some people think, I don't know why, you have to go to every webinar on the planet or you're not plugged in. Plugged in means if there's something said in the back office or by one of us or leader, you get it like within a couple hours. That's plugged in. How you get plugged in is up to you. Some people like going to all different webinars. That's up to you. If you don't like something, it's just not your cup of tea, don't go. I don't know why people think, and I'm not going to say this again because it sounds crazy to me that people think they have to go to everything. No, you have to be plugged in. You know if you're plugged in. If you feel like, oh, I got it. Okay, you're plugged in. But I love to see people there, different webinars. Uh, remember about unpassive. This is about everything in life, actually. You know, the Bible's only so big, and they've been preaching out of it for 2,000 years. Or at least, yeah. Okay, so you don't think some people heard the same verses twice? Maybe three times, five times? But it's when you hear it. Minister can say it. Red could bring up something. Marty could bring up something. Chris could bring up something. But it's when you're, when you really hear it. There's listening and you get it. Some people get stuff at different times. It's when you're ready to receive what's being said. Because I've had people say the same thing many times. It's redundant. It, it's, it's on purpose. They come back later and say, wow, I didn't know that. And I smile because I'm thinking, I've said it 50 times, maybe. But that's okay. That's people. You have a life. You have things going on. You get on a webinar. You're there. You've got distractions. Hold on one minute, guys. Jaden, you guys got to stop talking. Give me a few minutes, please. Thank you. That's number two. They got attention span like, you know, it, Shorty's looking at me like, what's he talking about? Patty Prescott, how you doing? But my point is, you know, what's good for you? Here's the thing. None of us, myself, Red, Chris, should have to remind you at this point, especially if you're watching all, and this goes, a lot of this goes to people on your team that aren't, aren't plugged in. Uh, you got to know by now, even if we know 1%, 10%, I don't care what it is, you are part of something that is mind-blowing. You are part of something mind-blowing. And I guarantee if you had a franchise like McDonald's, Burger King, whatever it is, you wouldn't leave your keys at home. You would make sure there's hamburgers there. You'd make sure there's fries there. You're not even asked to do that part. You just got to stand in front of the building for the door to open. You don't have to cook. You don't have to order anything. You have to do that. That's all done by Mr. Mifar and, and his tech team. So asking to be ready is not a big deal. Just be ready. It's for you. I want everybody... I don't want people fumbling around, oh, I don't know what to do. But also think this. I know people think, oh, my God, I don't want to miss anything. What happens if this is a conglomerate, okay? It's a huge, huge company. Even at lightning speed, you'll have time to see what's going on. I mean, I've got people asking me about the wallet. Isn't that kind of a skip, jump, and everything, like a leap ahead? What? It will be there. We will know what to do with it when it's time. Okay, hold on one second. This is number three. Leave him alone. <laughs> Come over here. Go in there and go eat. Hey, go eat. They're fighting because they know I'm online. Sorry, guys, that's uh, live. That's Marty's house. And you wonder why I'm cuckoo, cuckoo. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red. Thanks very much, Marty. So you can mute yourself now and uh, do the necessary. A uh, couple of shouts out to a couple of guys who have sent me some super stickers. Thank you so much, Andrew, Carl Hearn and Ram from Israel. Very kind for your support. Uh, hasn't gone unnoticed and thank very much. OK, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, back office stuff and also uh, some uh, little trail we're going to do for you. But first off, then, uh, Monday, we saw the new website and we've also got link number 63 now in your back office under the my link section, go to uh, our passive scroll to the bottom. You'll see that there. Now people are going, well, what's the point of having these links if we haven't got our referrals to them and all the rest of it? Well, number one, every single numbered link 
is specific for that web page that comes out. So if you have one that you really like, you can send that one. It will always be that web page. Remember at this stage, guys, uh, put your details on them. Uh, but it's also for the company as well, because behind the scenes, they are tracking how this website uh, reacts, how many people click on it, uh, how many people interact in it and all the rest of it. So it's beneficial for the company and also for you as well. Don't forget, part of what the company are doing is to make sure that they know where people are coming to on passive from and they can track all this via the links that we sell out send out to various people and also obviously the onpassive.com web page itself so it's really as important to use those now this particular website that we've just had uh, on monday one of my favorites i love it uh, very clear clarity is super crisp I love the layovers. I don't know if you, you know these um, the little ads they have with the video that keeps moving and all the rest of it as you're scrolling down. I love that. Have you noticed that 3D effect of them one laid over the other? It's HD quality. Absolutely amazing. As you're scrolling down, it really does pop out at you. You know, this is top notch website building. And we're getting all this because we're founders absolutely amazing another thing then talking of back offices uh which i like to talk a lot about because i'm continually in the back office checking things uh we had noticed that there was a couple of spelling mistakes that poor people have brought to my attention and i can tell you that the customer support service were on the ball as soon as that ticket went in we noticed that the spelling mistakes had got changed. That is what we're talking about. This is us as founders helping the company. Now, people are saying, well, shouldn't AI pick up a spelling mistake? AI is there for a lot of other things. The very first time a web page comes out, it has to be manually put in. OK, then all the algorithms and everything, that's when the AI get to work. But initially, when that code's put in, when the text is put in, it's all put in manually. Of course, there's going to be a bit of human error, but that's where we come in as founders. Remember, we're helping to found this company and we do our part by, by bringing to the attention any little bits and pieces like that so we can get them rectified very quickly. And I do know. Uh, the one spelling mistake in particular uh, was rectified straight away. Now, another thing that I've noticed as well, and you guys might have as well, is that the number of founders that haven't signed their NDA within my organization is going up. That is because the company are going through everyone's NDA. and If they need to re-sign it, they are letting these people know. Now, it is imperative and important that if you have multiple accounts, and Michael Williams put a very good post in the update section about this, okay, that you log in to every single one of your accounts. And why are we asking you to do this? Multiple reasons. One, to make sure you can access it. Two, it shows the company that you are active. It also shows the email that you are attached to that account is active as well. For instance, with Gmail, remember, if you do not use a Gmail email for over three months, then it goes and you you it's very hard to get it back again. So it's important. Plus, if you have to re-sign your NDA, it will pop up there to say that it needs re-signing. I jumped from 30 odd or 20 to 30 unsigned all the way up to 70 that need to have them re-signed. So please, guys. Log in to your accounts to see if you need to re-sign your NDA. If you don't see anything, if you don't hear anything, you're good to go. So don't worry about it. Other news then, tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, UK time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, I am doing a video workshop. Uh, the link is in my YouTube channel. OK, that's there at the moment. If you are somebody that wants to know how to do a video, OK, as long as you've got a mobile phone and you've got a laptop, you are good to go. So come along today. OK, and I will run you through the equipment that I use. As long as you've got a laptop that's got uh, Windows 10 on it, I will show you how to edit it. 
and then I'll show you how to load it onto YouTube. It's very basic, it's very simple, but one thing for sure, it will get you started. And this is what it's all about. Marty was talking about it before. Chris has come up with a fantastic new name as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure he's going to talk a little bit about it in a moment as well. And this is getting a lot more people talking in front of a camera. I want to help you guys to be able to do it. OK, how do I do it? I'll show you what to do and then you are good to go. Anyway, that's it from me. Back over to you, Chris. Wonderful, Red. Wonderful. Looking forward to seeing that workshop. Hey, guys, if you notice, we're always trying to help you. And I want to touch a little bit on what Marty said about plugging in. Um, reason we say plugging in and that's checking your back office. Catching a webinar here is because we're trying to prepare you for what's coming your way. If you remember about one year ago, a year ago in a couple months, we decided we need to wake up the sleeping bears. The people that signed up for a passive and kind of just weren't plugged in, they forgot all about it. We were going through all kinds of changes. And what did we do? We got out there and we made as much noise as we could to wake those individuals up. All right, we don't want to have to keep doing that. That's why we're saying plug in. It's your responsibility. It's your business. And we want you to take a little responsibility, but we're always here, always here trying to remind you. We do lives almost every single day. All right. We have very, very educational webinars. There's always something out there. We put stuff in the update section, always there to help you. There's no excuse. When we say plug in, like Marty said, it means, hey, wake the heck up. We want you part of this. And when we go launch, when we start ripping to the world, we want you there and ready to start receiving that breathable income. Hey, there's a new word, breathable income. And I will touch on it. Last Monday, I was having a conversation with John White and Bill Musk. And I said, I'm going to, they always say, what are you going to do on your lives? Well, I got something new. I want to talk about breathe, breathable income. And honestly, I didn't think it'd be as, as exciting as it was, but people really related to this. I, I challenged people to do lives about breathable income. I actually asked Marty the other day, is it possible we can get rid of residual income? Because to me, Ash is always looking for ways to get rid of MLM slangs. To me, residual income is an MLM slang. So I said, why not breathable income? We're waiting on that call. But I absolutely love the videos that have been sent to me. But here's what I ask. I, love, I want you to send them to me because I want to share them definitely on my Facebook and my YouTube. But I want you to put them in O Network. Okay? Very important. We want to get people going, going. You, we've all been pushing this. We need to get no. I've seen post people saying, hey, go to my own network. That's what we want to see. We want to see that all the time. This is how we're building up. This is, you can say we're beta testing O Network right now because we're getting people involved in what really matters. Guys, this is your business. Let's have fun with it. All right. Right now, breathable, breathe, breathable income, you can relate to it in many, many different ways. And I guarantee you, you'll think of something. And I'll give you an example breathable income takes the stress and pressure away of your average bills. And all I said was, imagine, imagine if you had a life with someone else paid your bills, period. They paid all your bills and you were still working and what you can do, how you would feel. You wouldn't have to worry about the car note, the house note. On pass is gonna take care of it. And this is what I wanna instill. I do go back to the basics. I try to stay in the now. Uh, a lot of us are going, like Marty said, talking about wallets, we don't know. We don't even know about some of the products yet. We know they're great, but we're, we're waiting for it. We're waiting for these things to come out because we're just fired up about it. But for now, just think about breathable income, folks. It really does work. All right, Marty, back to you. Yeah, I want to touch on that a little bit. You know, a lot of there's some people, I don't it doesn't matter who, with expectations that might be a little uh, in outer space. In order to make money with on passive products got to be sold and we get a commission. A lot of people have, have, have elected to be very passive. That's okay. But also be passive with your imagination. Okay, don't go crazy. But remember this, you start making money and you make enough to pay off one bill. You can breathe better as Chris says. Pay off another bill. You're making enough to pay two bills. Next thing you know, the breathing becomes very easy. Impacting people's lives doesn't need to be a million dollars a month. And that's what I'm passive is going to do. Give it a give it a chance to do its job. The job is they're doing everything for us. 
they're going to advertise. I believe, look, I don't talk about the products that much because they're, they're new and improved daily. When they're ready to come out, I'll, I'll be talking about them. But so will everybody else that sees them. We're not going to have to do a lot of talking. They're going to fight. Listen, I said this about resellers or whatever we wind up calling these people coming. What are the pluses? One is I know from a marketer's point of view what people need and what they'll, what they'll want. Unpassive checks all the boxes. They get an unpassive. They get everything they want. High-grade uh, AI, uh, unlimited. People are going to trip over each other once they see what we have. The beauty is, once again, redundant. They have to come to one of us to enter the land of unpassive. They have to come through one of us because we took the time. We looked at it. Listen, I, I, I came in through uh, Red Redford and Peter. I got in that day. Why? Because the example, what I lived with 15 years prior online was jumping around doing this, doing that. The small print, you know what small print means? They're about to rip you off. A person doesn't play that game. No small print. You get in, you pay what you paid. There's no hidden cost. Not somebody's taking so by the way, if you get this, you're gonna have enough to change your life. But once you get in, they say, well, if you get this, you'll really change your life. Come on, man. No, I'm I got tired of playing those games. That's why I'm so hip about Unpassive because I know people that don't know, it's not their fault, they don't market. If you don't know what you have, go to somebody that's walked that walk. Go to somebody and watch them. Watch Michael Williams, Red Redford. Uh, I have marketed Mike, Mike Ellis, Dan Street, other marketers, I don't, or whatever. There's many in here. You look at their face and how they're acting. You know why? Because they walk the walk in trash. And had to go to people and say, follow me, I'm going to make you broke. Follow me, I'll show you how to lose money online. I don't have to say that anymore. Because I can come in and say, look, it's honest. You can come in. You can change your life. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is not because you can be a founder, because eh, that door has closed. What I'm saying is anybody watching this today, a week or four weeks from now, a year from now, Reseller positions are open. You can come in with anybody in Unpassive that's a founder, and you can change your life. I don't care what day it is. Listen, if it was a small company and you came in and said, oh, it's saturated, this is the most anti-saturating company that ever existed. We talked about websites. This company is making websites going on twice a week, brand new. The new one that Red said, Mind blowing, beautiful website. Things moving on it, 3D. It's it's amazing. It flows like a river. Guess what? Thursday there'll be another one. Next Monday there'll be another one. So this company, listen, because we're being built by someone who walked on this land, who's been in the land of marketing, he knows the pitfalls to it, the lies, the deceiving. And what did he do? He took all the bad points, erased them, and added some extra goodies to what we have. So, well, what about the market? The, everything in Unpass is being sold right now to millions of people. The difference is value, AI, uh, unlimited. I mean, it's all there. So, if you don't know, it doesn't matter. Just be happy as a lark because you're part of something that will change your life, your family's life, whatever. But expectations, don't lose it. Mr. Mufara, if Mr. Mufara has a meeting, you don't go to the meeting and say, he he better say this or I think he's going to say that. You're, you've lost the whole thing. The guy's doing all the work, building the houses, building the fortress for you. And we've got nerve enough to say, well, what kind of bell are you putting in the tower? Bite me. We don't have a right to do that. $97 did not give me a right to, to, to expect something. Because guess what? The end result, 
It's going to knock us out. It's going to change our lives. Got to go with the process. Ask me for just not walk in a meeting with people and come up with ideas. And everybody says, oh, that's so cool. Ask. Yeah, we'll get right on it. Never. Never. When you're building something new, people's first response is, that can't be done. That's crazy. I don't know if we can do that. Guarantee it. I don't have to be there. We made certain copper foil when I was in, at work. And I, I, I thought there was a way to make two shiny sides instead of a rough side and a shiny. That's impossible. It happened. It happened. Same with on passive. People like us, they think it, and they believe this is how this is how these people think. It's it's great for the the world. If I can take it, that means it can it can be done. Are you kidding me? I am so fortunate and blessed. I mean, people say, "Oh, you always know what to say." You're lucky. It's not luck. It's in my DNA. I'm saying what I believe. If you say what you believe, and listen, if you're not at that level, get there. Get there. You've got something you will if you will not, your family's gonna be changed. But just have expectations. Let the train go, let the jet go, let this rocket go. Right? Elon Musk said, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do rockets to space. You know why NASA quit? Because it costs too much money. Booster rockets fall off, they fall in the ocean, they gotta try to find them, they try to patch them up, they can't. So I'll, I'll just land the booster rocket back on Earth. Guaranteed everybody in the room didn't say, oh, that's a good idea. See you tomorrow. They went, oh, this guy's a freaking nut. And then what does he do? He goes, I'm going to land it back on Earth on a ship. Impossible. I don't know. I've seen five or six of them land on a freaking ship. That's what changes the world. That's who we're part of. That's a company we're part of. And we're all here, and that's why we're excited and crazy half the time. Is because I don't care if I know 100%. What I know is enough. And if it's going to get better than that, okay. But trust me, and, and I, we all care for everybody that comes to our webinars, our lives, and all that. Sometimes I get upset because I see people veering somewhere that doesn't matter. Let that go. Let that go. Pay attention. You know what he's been talking about? I'm building a foundation for the biggest company in the world. If you don't have that, then you pay later. You saw it in the back office. Pay later means you gotta go to somebody, hey, I'm sorry the payment didn't work right. That's not something you wanna tell people. You do not wanna tell them that. We don't get a second chance. When, when Ash landed the booster rocket back on that ship, it has to land on a dime. If that takes a month, two months, three months, we need to shut up and let it happen because if it doesn't work, who's going to take the blame? Not my big ass, right? We're all going to go after. We're all going to go after. Uh, ass. Anyway, I want to hammer that home because I got a bigger audience. Anyway, I, I'm not being negative. I'm as positive as heck. I just want I, I you I so bad want people to see what we see. Some of you do. I can see it. Most of you watching this, you, you are core. But there's some out there a little bit, oh, drives me insane. I'm so happy for you. But rub up against people that, that got it or see it, and eventually it'll come clear to you. I believe that with all my heart. I've, I've lived that way. Anyway, that, I had no plans on saying what I just said. But I'm going to turn it over to Red. Hey, Marty, you know something? I love it when you start preaching, mate, because you say it from the heart and exactly what other people are probably thinking as well. I certainly believe that we are very privileged and uh, to be founders in this amazing business, uh, uh, one I've been part of for a very long time, the same as you. Uh, you know, we are nearly there, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Everything has to be fit for purpose and good to go. So don't you people go anywhere. Remember I said at the beginning, We've got an announcement coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet because we've got a little bit of fun, fun, fun. So here's what we need to do, guys. Myself, Marty, and Chris have all posted. Oh, hold on one second, Rod. i got to end that because I, I got a compulsion. Tell my daddy took the T-bird away. All right, anyway, go ahead.
You know, they, they always say, what is the art of good comedy? Timing. <laughs> so, I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, I've lost my train of thought. Right. So what we want you to do, <laughs> what we want you to do is to log in to Marty, myself, Richard Redfern on on uh, in the back office and also Chris. We want the smart people out there, right? We've all posted something. But what do these numbers mean? OK, that's all the hint I'm going to give you. So log into our network, go to myself, Richard Redfern, Marty DeGarmo, Chris Johnson, and then come back into our chats. OK, and we want you to tell us what these numbers mean. And as soon as we've got that, OK, out of the way, I'm going to give you an announcement. Until then, over to you, Chris. And the winner will receive a full rendition of Marty singing that song about the T-Bird. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is what I'm talking about. We, I just had, I had conversations with a lot of founders this week and a lot of them saying, hey, man, you remember how we used to have a lot of fun on webinars and we left? This is what I'm talking about. We've had so much fun on every single webinar. We've had all kinds of crazy things happen. And we're having fun. And that's what we got to make sure we're always doing. You know, Susie McRae says, oh, that F word. All right, Ash, always, Ash loves when she says that, that. But it's the truth. If we're not having fun, we're not doing it right. We can have fun. Ash the Farm is working his brains off right now for you. But we're allowed to have fun. We're allowed to go fishing. We're allowed to uh, cut our grass. Ash the Farm is working right now for you and I. Just think about that for a second. Why we're sitting down at the dinner table. He's probably on the phone with Hyderabad, with lawyers, with countries, while you're eating your turkey dinner. And he's probably waiting six more hours before he can even eat. So just think like that, guys. This man's doing it for us. Thankful. Be thankful. It's, 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 listen, here's a, here's a new thing I'm going to say. You know me with my new things. We got breathable income, right? I want you to imagine, and those who celebrate, that every single day is Thanksgiving. And the first prayer I want you to say is, thank you to the Mafara family for giving us a big turkey that we all can enjoy. I was telling Marty last night, I love surprises. If you think about it, when you were a kid, there was always that real big present under your Christmas tree. And everyone was saying, oh, is that mine? Or you're arguing with your brother or sister. Is that mine? They never put a name on it. All right. We have the biggest present waiting for us under the Christmas tree. And it has all our names on it. That's called the birth of Unpassive. And every one of us get to tear that paper apart and watch this thing come into action. And when we launch to the world, and when we, like I said, when we launch to the world, you're going to be happy. You're going to be singing songs like Marty was just singing. That Red has no clue what that song is, but it's okay. Guys, remember this. We've said it a million times. Take a breath. Relax. Ash has got this. He's got every one of us. He's never let us down. Even when you think he has, he never has. Because he's constantly working, working, working. Open your mind. Open your ears. Drink your coffee. Go for a walk. And when this thing really rips, wow. Can you imagine it? Everything paid. I still go by that. Everything's paid for you. No more stress. Let him pass and take the stress out of your life. All right, but, but let him do it first. Let him get everything right. And when it launches, I promise you, I promise you, you're all gonna be happy. All right, but back to you, Marty. We got any answers yet, guys? I tap dance as long as I can. Okay. There are some answers. Yeah. Uh, Marty, you go first. I'll go second. And Chris, just read out a few of the names of the people who got it right, and then we'll give the announcement. <laughs> I'd like to read the ones that got it wrong. I'm just kidding. Um, let me see the first one I saw here. I'll be wrong, but okay, that's right. That's right. Nick Monty got it right. Nick Monty got it right. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> some people are laughing. 
Yvonne Finn is the one I see from Canada. She got it right. Uh, Kevin Rutledge got it right. Yeah, I've got... Narissa, uh, Narissa's got it right. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I've got on here, uh, I've got on Passive uh, Webinar, he got it right, or they got it right. Uh, well, so I've got Kevin Mountain Man Rutledge was almost first in through the door. Brenda yeah. McIntyre, <laughs> uh, also Donna Hamblin, you got it right. Uh, Joe Sudo from Portugal. Bren, Brenda McIntyre said Alan, uh, Alan Hinkle, hello, you got it right. Uh, we've also got on here Jarmo, good lad, you got it right. And uh, Jennifer Dickinson, and who else? Uh, Surendra Sahu, well done to you for getting it right as well. Over to you, Chris and Marty, and then I'll do the announcement. And Kathy yeah. Sampson. Yeah, same names. I got in my mind too. Very good. And anyone that's Anyone that's guessing it after they saw Kevin Rutledge or uh, or the other person, nah, no, nah, you lose. Kevin Rutledge, you guys hit it right on the head. Uh, you can actually tell them, Red, tell them what it means. I mean, yeah, well, the whole reason behind all of this, guys, is as always, which we've been doing for the last two weeks, loads of you are picking up on how we're doing this and posting in social media. Go and check myself, myself out, not me as in the person who's posted it, in O networks this is all part of what we are doing to get you uh to use O networks more we, it's going to be much more re into reactive remember when people comment on your post you can actually comment on their comment as well uh we're trying to get a bit more into reaction and part okay. of this is for you when you log in on a daily basis is not only go to updates and webinars but also then go to the O networks as well remember it is important to use the right terminology. It is O networks, not O net, O networks. So then, here we go. The announcement. Uh, Marty was on the yeah, phone absolutely. last night. Big drum roll there from Chris. Hey, 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 Johnson. Uh, Marty was on the phone last night to Ash Mafara, and he has announced that tomorrow, that is Thursday, the 18th of August. He is having a corporate webinar. What time? I hear you ask at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be put into the update section uh, shortly after this uh, 360 we're doing now. Uh, we would love to blow it up, guys. We have capacity for 20,000 people and we would love 20,000 people to join us on the corporate webinar. I'm going to hand it over to Marty now, and he's really has got some important pointers for us whilst attending this webinar. OK, we have noticed over the past couple of webinars of uh, things that have been going on. So listen up to Marty, what he's got to say about joining this webinar tomorrow. But I cannot wait for, tomorrow for the updates from Ash. Over to you, Marty. Yeah, what I want to say is uh, it was fun doing this contest. So most of you got it right. Uh, some are quicker than others, but that's okay. We got to get used to uh, going to the back office because as things move along very quickly in the next few weeks, that's where all the info will be. And we got to make it a habit of going there now. I did ask Ash if he sees uh, an improvement on visitors to the back office as far as founders. He said, absolutely. So it is happening. Now, tomorrow with the, with the webinar, all of you that are tied in, which are people listening to this? So, I mean, obviously, they are in a re recording of this because they're working or whatever. It's okay. Uh, pass along that there will be a webinar tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, I'll get the link put out and all that. When you go, listen to what Ash is telling us about building this massive company for us. Do not go there, please anticipating what you think you should hear. The only way we could figure out and anticipate what we hear is we'd have to walk through the same cow manure that Mr. Mavar is walking through, and none of us would want to do that. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay? He never has what you'd call a great day. Some are bad and some are worse. But he knows the outcome is something that will change the world. So go there and suck up all the information he has, and you will be blown away. 
you would be blown away. When I hear a CEO tell me we're going to spend tens of thousands, million, maybe tens of millions of dollars building a stronger infrastructure around the world, what does that tell you? I don't know what it's telling everybody, but the common sense is it's telling you so it can handle this big, monstrous company. We look at companies like Apple and all these, they got one or two products. We look at Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. <laughs> That's it. We have a Zoom. We have an Apple. We have a Google. We have a Microsoft. All built in. We don't even know half to or tenth of what's coming. Just look at what we have. Go there open minded. Be proud of it. We should be cheering when Ash comes on. What he's doing for us for nothing. Unless you guys really have the nerve to uh take the ninety seven dollars that's gonna, you know, give us what we what we want. Ninety seven dollars for a life changing income every day, day after breathable income. Pass that along. Hashtag breathable income. Let's do it everywhere we go. Because that will relate to people. Or to at least make them ask you, what do you mean by breathable income? I'll tell you what it means. You know, at the end of the month, you've made all you're going to make that month, and the bills are a little bit higher than what you brought in, and you can't breathe? How about if you can? And every month it goes by, you can breathe a little better. That's breathable income. That's unpassive. But please go there, open minded. Man, I'm I'm excited every time we have a meeting. I'm not excited for everybody because they're not getting it. Get it. Don't go there if you can't get it. Come on. This is the most powerful thing. It's it's done for us. All the heavy lifting. We get to all walk out of this thing as superstars as weightlifters as professional marketers as bodybuilders and we don't even have to lift weights all the work is done for us so man be appreciative be grateful really i mean i am i can't express how grateful i am i've moped around here for 18 years trying to find something and what do i walk into it wasn't an accident i'm passive it's going to change my life I believe it from the bottom of my heart, in my DNA. It's going to change my life. And better yet, anybody that I shared it with, it's going to change their life too. That's so cool. Anyway, uh, that's all I have. I guess I could go back to uh, Red or Chris. Doesn't matter. No? Shut it down? Wait, 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 wait. I want to warn everyone right now. This is a warning. Okay? I want you to find a sound or a tone on your phone that you're really gonna like. Cause after we launch, I believe that tone, that's gonna say, you got another customer, you got another reseller. Make it a fun tone, like, like, hey, Chris, you can breathe now. I wanna hear that every single day. Hey, hey, Marty, you can breathe now. Set your phone for a real fun tone or ring that you're gonna hear every day and you're not gonna get upset about. You know what I mean? Sometimes things can be annoying. This is going to be the greatest sound you ever heard, which could be ting, tang, wong, wang, bada bing, bada boom. That's what your phone's going to be like. And guess what? <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Do this. One more thing, Marty. I know I'm rambling. Take, let's just take 1 million founders. Let's just say one round number, 1 million founders. And then take the number 8 billion people. Just think about that. The guy not only did all the work for us, he did it where the world has to go through us. And I'm going to keep telling you that. How exciting is that? Eight billion people got to go through one million of us to become unpassive Indians, customers, resellers. If that don't get you floating somewhere, then you're really not a founder. Eight billion people, do the math. Try to listen. Here's an idea. Try to count to eight billion. See how long it takes you. <laughs> There's some fun. Tell me in your own network. I want to see how long it took you to count to eight billion. All right, that's it for me, Red.
Yeah, just quick one before you go then. Yeah, the uh, phone thing, I absolutely love it. I already know which one I'm going to have, and it's going to be the one that goes ka -ching! That's the one I'm having. Uh, I'm gonna, my, mine's going to say Christmas a blackhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Doesn't your African grey already say that, by the way? <laughs> uh, big shout out to uh, Batumula Ruth from uh, Norway. Thank you for your super sticker. That's it from me. Back over to Marty to close it down. What a 360, guys. If you are not leaving this webinar with us three guys here, excited about your future and what is about to happen, give your head the biggest wobble you could possibly give it. Give yourself a cold shower, dust yourself down and get back in the game. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm all pumped up. All pumped up and nowhere to go. Anyway, I'll see you all. Thank you for being here. Chat with everybody on your team. Be a leader. You know, it's not how big your team is. It's how you treat people. And you, I've seen a lot of cool things lately, and it's really exciting. Anyway, I'll see you all next week. We'll all see you tomorrow on our lives. God bless, and uh, have a great day.